Hello everyone and hello once again YouTube. This is Mia, your daily news broadcaster signing in to give you the latest news and happenings on Bitcoin and on EOS today. Now uh, for this video, we'll be talking about the cryptocurrency Cardano. But before we go there, I would like to invite you all to join us with this new Initiative Q program here. Okay. So guys, Initiative Q is an attempt by ex-PayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, this system uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now, guys, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Okay, now signing up to Initiative Q is completely free, which will only be needing your name and an email address. There is nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your Qs can be worth a lot. So, guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you would not want to miss this one now in the description below i have included my own special limited invite link the link shown will stop working once we're out of free invites so guys click it now and don't get left behind on this one all right so here okay moving forward let's go to the article here okay so, Cardano awakens, heavy hitting updates and foundation restructuring. Charles Huskinson describes Cardano's 1.4 as the most significant update to the Cardano ecosystem to date. With the update featuring a host of high caliber performance and functionality upgrades to the software. In addition, to the update, IOHK has made rapid progress in other areas of the organization, including a restructuring of the Cardano Foundation following the resignation of Chairman Michael Parsons. Cardano 1.4 is an enormous overhaul of Cardano. The update signals the completion of Cardano's Byron phase of development and based on comments from Charles Huskinson, the CEO of the organization responsible for developing Cardano IOHK, the update could indicate that Cardano is coming out of its software developer-induced isolation. Nisim. Okay. Crypto Slate reached out of to IOHK and is scheduled to interview Charles Huskinson for additional comments on Cardano's upcoming features. Okay. There are several important upgrades slated for the 1.4 upgrade. These upgrades include optimized block storage, a Cardano test network, full wallet support for Linux, and support of the Rust programming language. The update is scheduled to go live on December 18th. Now, here is a tweet by Charles Huskinson saying, After seven release candidates and a huge amount of QA work, I'm pleased to announce that our best effort release date for Cardano 1.4 is December 18th. Daedalus users will get an in-client update notification next week. Thanks for everyone. Thanks everyone for your patience and support. Okay, so that ends the tweet of Charles Huskinson. Optimized block storage. One of the most important updates for 1.4 is more streamlined storage for the blockchain. At the moment, a user needs to store roughly 1.5 million files to house the entire Cardano blockchain. Moreover, the storage requirements increased by an additional file with every new block produced. The new update drops this number substantially, allowing users to get the same functionality with a mere 200 files. Furthermore, users will now only need to store a file for each epoch 
a snapshot of the current set of miners taking approximately every 20 seconds, further reducing the amount of storage space needed. More efficient storage means more actions can be done locally. If the blockchain is stored locally on someone's computer, they can access it much more quickly instead of accessing it slowly from the Cardano network. This will produce performance improvements for things that use the locally stored blockchain such as wallet restoration, proof of stake mining, and synchronization with the online blockchain network. Cardano Testnet, Testnet. The Cardano Test Network or Testnet is a version of the Cardano blockchain that is one software update ahead of the real Cardano blockchain. The Testnet is said to have the same functionality, integration capabilities, and properties of Cardano's real blockchain. This version of the Cardano blockchain allows developers to quickly test and run code without risking substantial amounts of Cardano's native cryptocurrency. ADA. Ultimately, the feature means more reliable software updates, upgrades for Cardano's main blockchain. Users can also benefit from the testnet. Anytime there is a wallet upgrade in Daedalus, Cardano's primary wallet, users can primarize themselves in a testnet environment without risking real ADA. Daedalus for Linux. Linux is the most widely used open source computer operating system. Linux powers many of the world's phones, servers, and supercomputers. Furthermore, cryptocurrency enthusiasts have a tendency to use Linux. Daedalus is Cardano's primary crypto wallet. The wallet has been available to public beta Linux users since Cardano issued 1.1. That said, after extensive testing and improvement, the full release of Daedalus for Linux is scheduled for the 1.4 release. The update will bring greater functionality and ease of use for Linux users wishing to transact in AD or ADA or interact with the Cardano blockchain. Supporting the Rust programming language Rust is a low-level programming language used for things like computer chips, industrial machines, and other embedded systems. Rust is commonly used for performance-critical code. The main selling point of Rust is its built of say in safe code features which prevent programmers from committing critical errors. The language is often compared to and sometimes used in place of C and C++. According to IOHK, third-party developers who make iOS, Android, and web applications often use Rust. In the 1.4 update, Cardano will implement Rust as an open source sandbox that will allow developers to integrate and build their own product, products on top of the platform, including products for mobile devices. This would further decentralize the ecosystem by stimulating open source development. At the moment, the project compromises, comprises a command line interface wallet and a software development kit the Rust GitHub repository is currently open to code contributors from the community. Cleaning up the Cardano Foundation sure. Michael Parsons, the former CEO of the Cardano Foundation, has resigned following months of tumult between IOHK, Emergo, and the Foundation. Between the three branches of Cardano's governing bodies, the foundation was tasked by with driving adoption, releasing news, conducting evangelism, and marketing the project. One incident escalated to the point where the community alleged that the branch failed in most of its responsibilities, saying that the foundation failed to build and lead a competent organization. Charles Huskinson and Ken Komada from IOHK and Imurgo agreed. In a comment on their resignation, Huskinson said that the community is waking up the foundation and getting it to where it was supposed to go, a clear indication of movement in the right direction. Moreover, he cites in fighting with the Cardano Foundation as one of the reasons why the marketing of the project has suffered. Now that the issues are getting resolved, 
users should expect Cardano's marketing presence to improve. Huskinson is currently looking to introduce the concept of Cardano Hubs, community groups that come together to evangelize and get people excited about the project. The CEO mentioned setting up hubs in places like Africa, South America, Asia, and the United States. In the development pipeline, following 1.4, IOHK, Imorgo, and the Cardano Foundation are looking to introduce a flurry of heavy heating features in the next upgrade cycle, codenamed Shelly. Some of these features include a full rollout of network decentralization, Trezor and Ledger Nano support, NFC or touchless debit cards, quantum resistant encryption, full multi-signature support, sidechain support, and a host of other goodies. The above lineup of features is scheduled to go live in the first quarter of 2018. Look for Cardano. Cardano's 1.4 and Shelly updates run contrary to people's perceptions of the project. Some, of, some in the Cardano community calling it a group of academics engaging in computer science masturbation. However, if the organization is able to deliver on its ambitious project for first quarter, that might change. The updates may bring on a new cohort of enthusiasts who are tired or tired of the hype first product later style of marketing in which is common in the industry. After opening without much public publicity, the awakening of the foundation combined with a string of hard hitting updates could take our Dano to the forefront of the crypto platforms, whether it will rival the likes of Ethereum, Tron, or EOS is another debate. Right, so guys, that was for the article featuring the cryptocurrency Cardano. So guys, what can you say about this one? Share with us your opinions on our comment section below. And also guys, I would just like to take this opportunity for you to subscribe to our newsletter, which um, you, will, you will be receiving a day ahead of our broadcast here on our, um, YouTube simply by going to the website preferredcurrency.news and um, here. So once you are in the website, all you have to do is scroll down and click on the link PayPal where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis and or you can pay at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase. And after you do that, you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. Okay. All right. So now, guys, um, I will not be going through the newsletter now. I will just give you guys, um, I will just I'll show you guys the best part of the newsletter once you become a subscriber. Now, we are talking, or I am talking about Donald's research list here. Now, each subscriber gets a chance to see Donald's analysis for free. I mean, here, each subscriber can um, take a look at Donald's personal research list as to what he thinks are the most important coins or tokens are to be researched today based on fundamentals. These are the ones that he thinks and is most definitely researching today and also invites you to do the same if you like to. So guys, here, as you can see, it's composed of different colors. Now we should take note that the red highlighted cells means that that specific cryptocurrency is giving out negative news. If orange or tan, it means neutral, yellow or fair, green have good news, and blue shows the best news. So guys, we highly recommend that you should focus more on the blue and green highlighted cells since they are giving out positive news about the specific cryptocurrency. Alright, so that's it guys. Now all of the information provided in this video is presented as news and information only and not to be considered advice. We highly recommend that you do your own final research in order for you to make decisions for yourself. Now this channel and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily news broadcaster, signing off. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.